What's up guys, we're back with the Doctor's Advocate. Uh, today I decided that I'm gonna hate myself and I'm gonna go ahead and play a horror game because Halloween is tomorrow. Or I guess I'll upload this on Halloween, whatever. Um, but today's Halloween, I guess. So, I decided to do a spoopy video and this will probably be a video where I do a bunch of different playthroughs of it because I'm sure this game has multiple endings that are all gonna be spookifying. Uh, I may or may not have accidentally, um, closed the thing before. I may have accidentally not recorded something. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back. Okay, so, another day old day passes as you struggle to manage your failing farm. Your crops are beginning to wilt, and your cow is sick. For some time, the land has been very quiet. The air has grown thick and foul. Each passing day you feel more uncertain if things will ever return to the way they were before. Perhaps it is up to you? You've made up your mind. You're going to do something about it. Uh, I played through this game a little bit, and I got killed by a bear, which I'm not going to go do that again because I don't think it has a use. I might go back and I might have to be a, I might be able to actually kill the bear later, but for now I'm not going to go back there. Uh, so basically, it's this game is called Disturbed by Brad Moore. Uh, I guess this dude makes a bunch of spooky games, like this, and yeah. Uh, hmm. So I'm going to continue reading, and just say things as stuff goes on. You stand in front of your humble home, pondering what you should do next. I'm going to go to the crops. A path divides the crops you've labored so hard to prosper these past months. A penetrating odor reminds you that your plants are decaying away, and time is running short. I'm going to follow the path. Uh, that's the cave where you, you, I can get killed by the bear. You continue down the trail for a while until you see a cave off in the distance. You pause, questioning if there could be something helpful in there. We're not going to go into the cave, we're going to continue down the path. You come to a stop as you stumble upon a broken wagon. I'm going to inspect the wagon. You look about the mess and find bits of food and clothes scattered about the scene. You notice a key on the ground during your search. You pick up the key and continue on your way. Alright, so this is uh, the point where I, not I realized I wasn't recording anything. So this is all new to me from this point. After what felt like an hour or two, you reach a bridge. Nearby the path is a small shack, similar to the house you have on the farm. The man that lives there is a kind fellow, from what you recall. Maybe he's home? I'm going to inspect the shack. You walk towards the structure and knock on the door. You scratch the back of your head, figuring that the person that lives here is currently occupied, if not elsewhere. You remember picking up a key from the wagon and using it on the door. The door unlocks. Uh, you decide to help. Okay. Didn't want to do any of that, but okay. Observing the empty room, you realize something terrible must have taken place here. I see a little cellar door over there, and I don't want, like this right here, I don't want to go there. And <laughs> the room is a wreck, just like the wagon. You were overcome with fear as you think of the man that used to dwell here. You inspect the book on the table, which is right here. You pick up the book and start flipping through the pages. You discover that this is a journal. Reading a passage or two, a passage or two can't hurt. Today's training went smoothly. Thank goodness. What I am thrilled the most about, however, is that one of my buddies mentioned to me at the conclusion of our, of our day. Apparently there is a pond nearby that is some of the biggest fish in the region. With a good catch, I can make enough to move things forward. I was caught off guard when he mentioned that nobody has been able to catch any from here. From here. I guess your typical fishing rod won't do the trick, but what can be done about it? Something to be intrigued about, I suppose. These past couple weeks have been really rough for me. My trading business has gone under and I've lost nearly everything I own. Uh, sorry, I'm being messaged by people. I'll ignore it. Okay. I'm sorry. Um, these past couple weeks... Uh, this has pushed me to extremes, but that can't be helped now. I'm leaving this place forever and never to return it. The land is dying and there is nothing but darkness here. Anyone reading this should leave while they can. You can't find a name to give this man, but regardless of the name, you've got chills running down your spine. I'm gonna open the trap door. Uh, there's a lock keeping me closed. I unlock the hatch. That thinking. Thanks, game. Oh! Okay! Mm-hmm. Yep, that's what I wanted. So this guy is either a murderer or this was put here after the fact, and I'm also about to get murdered. The air attacks you. You notice immediately that there's a woman chained chain to the wall. She doesn't seem to notice you as you study her. You feel darkness around you as you stay in this awful place. Let's talk to the woman. You tremble as you try to form words in your mouth. You there! Let me out of here! The pressure of such a demand gives you freeze. You take a moment to think about the situation before you respond. What got you locked up to begin with? 
You'll never believe me, even if I told you the truth. Something brought you here. Please, have mercy on me. I'm gonna free the woman. You crush the woman and lock the shackles that bind her. As her arms become free, she moans in pain. Thank you so much. The woman struggles to regain her strength and starts to stand up on her own. As she gets up, she turns towards you. I will now do you a favor. Ah! Okay! What seemed to be the face of a helpless woman disappears as a horrible image manifests itself before you. You feel the chilling grip of bone hands lock onto your arms. Energy flees from your body and you fall to your knees. You feel the essence of your life slip away as everything goes black. It is unfortunate that your journey ends here. The damsel in distress ending. Okay, uh, this is the part where I just kind of skip through everything. Go to the crops. Da da da, follow the path. Da 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 da, continue down the path. Da 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 da. Uh, I didn't inspect the wagon. Oops. Uh, cross the bridge. After all that has happened, you feel that you should take a moment to rest. You find a spot under a tree and sit down. Getting comfortable, you tilt your head back against the tree and gaze into the sky. Pick the grass. What? As you pick at the grass blades in your reach, the ground begins to shake. Before you can get up, reach from below, strap from the ground, and wrap around your legs. Okay, Mr. Angry Tree. You turn around to see a large angry face looking back at you. Your jaw drops in horror. No scream sound of screaming escapes your tongue as the tightening grip of the roots squeeze what air is left out from your body. Your adventure ends here. Nature will rise against you! Okay. This is terrible. Go to the crops. Uh, skip all that. Follow the path. Skip. Continue down the path. Uh, okay. Inspect the wagon. Skip. Inspect the shack. Skip. Inspect the book. Skip. Open the trap door. Skip. Talk to the woman. Skip. Decline. I will not. No, don't go. With nothing else to interact with, you make your way up the stairs. As you exit, you can hear the woman laugh behind you. The voice causes the shack to shake. You leave the shack as fast as you could. You leave the shack and cross the bridge before something bad happens. Um. I guess I'm just gonna take a nap then. Your eyes close and your body relaxes and you fall asleep within seconds. As your mind wanders, you see a blurry image. <gasps> Details emerge as you gaze, you wonder who this might be. A bad feeling then overcomes you and you realize who this is. You try to wake yourself up! You wake up and turn to your feet, looking back at yourself and your surroundings. It all seems well, you can't help. <clears throat> but feel fearful that something bad will happen to you if you stay here. Moving forward seems like the only logical option now. You reach a point where... Uh, any meeny money right. Oh. You reach the end of the pathway. In the distance is a tower looking over the area. A gate secures passage to the area with a wall around the property. Also of interest, there's a tree that has a hole carved into it. Um, I'm going to inspect the tree. You approach the tree and notice the hole is big enough to fit your hand in it. You look and see something sh No. No! Feeling around with your hands, you find three knobs. One on the right, one center in the middle, and one... I'm gonna press the knobs. I'm gonna press the middle knob. Press the left knob. Press the right knob. Knob's locked in place. Nothing happens. Oh. Oh, okay. I'm gonna go to the gate. Oh, this is the title thing. You approach the gate cautiously. Enter. Ooh, ooh. Standing before the tower, your heart begins to sink. There is no doubt the birth, birthplace of the spreading plague. Uh, there's a fountain before you with statues on your right and left. I'm going to inspect the fountain. There's a dark haze about the fountain. The water is black and the smell burns with every breath. You feel a slight pull. No, 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 no. Statue on the left? Oh, hi there. Uh, you see an old statue of an angel that's been consumed by vines of thorn. An angel's holding a book in one hand, the other one with a finger pointed up towards the sky. You feel it best to leave the statue alone. A statue on the right. Before he stands an old angel statue that is broken in many areas. With one hand, the angel is holding some sort of bowl, while the other hand is hovering over the bowl. You notice that there is only two remaining fingers on the angel, angel's other hand. If you should keep your distance and just observe the statue. Um, I'm going to enter the tower. You approach the door. Invisible magic. Okay. First thing I would think... Um, this time I'm going to go left. After continuing down the path for some time, you come to a stop. You notice that there is some sort of trail that leads through the grass up towards a nearby, up nearby hill. If you had not stopped, you probably would have never noticed. Um, follow the trail in the grass. <gasps> Excalibur! Follow this, following the subtle tail in the grass, you stumble upon what looks like a grave. 
inspect the grave, you approach the grave, you look at the sword within true. <laughs> Hi there! Before you can touch the sword, a ghostly figure stands before you. You freeze before the apparition. The sword, may I have it? The blade is cursed, I am bound here by the pain of my past. If you desire this sword, free me from it. No, 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 fool! Only something of a pure essence can free me. A rare hope, like a flower found in darkness. You reach for the sword. Before you can lay a finger on it, spear grabs your arm. Oh! The cursed blade. Great. Thanks for melting me, bud! Um... Alright, one more... One more playthrough, and then... We're gonna... I wanna finish this path before... Uh, inspect the... I don't even think I have to do that. Now I cross the bridge. Sleep. Yep, spooky. Okay, go left this time. Uh, follow the trail in the grass. And then skip. Inspect the grave. Skip. I have away from the sword. You listen to the specter and leave the sword. Uh, continue on. You pause to see that there's a lake nearby. The trail continues on to your right. Uh, inspect the lake. You step... Mm, mm, there's something strange about it that we're calling out to you. I'm sorry. That was probably... Yeah. Yeah, no, that's a smart idea. Um, oh, is that Stonehenge? A faint trail comes to an end. There's a collection of stone pillars down the hill. Beyond the hill is a large field of grass. Let's inspect the stone pillars. What is that? You stand before this large stones arranged in the shape of a circle. In the center is a stone with what appears to be some slaughter hole. No, about, no doubt about it, something is meant to be placed here. Seeing that you can't do anything, you head back. Alright. Explore the field. You find yourself gazing over a field with field, hills rolling off into the distance. As if a trick upon your eyes, you see a unicorn run across the field. It just peers out of sight before you can do anything. Surely the unique powers of a unicorn can help you with the crest. There's clearly something wrong. If only there was a way to charm it. Okay. Go back. Um, I'm going to dive in. I'm sorry, guys. I know this is bad, but... Let's go! You close your eyes and jump into the lake. You open your eyes see the stone sitting before you. You start to make your way... Um, hi there! A large fish comes into view, quickly notices you with its mouth stretched open. You try to leave for the service, but the fish catches up to you. You quickly find yourself helpless before the creature. You close your eyes as the giant fish rips your body apart with its teeth. You die a very painful death. You don't need a fishing permit. Your adventure ends here. Alright guys, um... I mean, it definitely has some spooky imagery, but it's not super spooky. But, uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, let me know. And, uh, yeah... So, bye. I'm spooked. Slightly.